Ish. One eye, one hand. You can't catch a break. I'm waiting for him to have a peg leg. Hey! What's up, my peoples? Mgo here, the freaking geek himself, and today we will be reviewing the Planet X Kios! So here we are, and there he is, and first and foremost, as always, we'll take a quick look at the packaging in usual Planet X fashion. The front of the box is just uh, his chest, Planet X kiosk, BX-22, up top, set things and stuff. Warning, don't eat anything in this box, that could be very bad for you. On the bottom, we just have things and stuff. On the back is his, actually, that's the top of his head right there. On the side we have his arm, his other arm, things and stuff, stuff and things, and that's basically it for the packaging. Also included is the collector's card with a nice image there of Shocky. And on the back you have tech specs if that interests you. Hooray for carts. And moving right along, here we have Kios, and this is Planet X's take on the War for Cybertron slash Fall of Cybertron Shockwave. So yeah, we're getting some more video game bots, and uh, this makes me very happy. And here is Shockwave in his Cybertronian ship of murder death mode. Okay, I like it. I can work with it. Again, Cybertronian. Doesn't really have to look like anything. It's Cybertronian, but let's get in close here so we can take a look at the details. You have some nice transclearance purple plastic in there as well as right up in there. You also get some nice metallic pinks going on as well for some nice highlights. Um, I, I know it's not going to come across well on camera, but it, in hand, it's a really nice shade of purple. It has a nice kind of metallic sheen to it. it. Looks very nice in hand. Okay, get some more of that transparent plastic right there. For OBS chest, he does technically have visible hair syndrome. I mean, it's right there. Those are his ears. It's kind of poking up. Yeah. Again, get some more of that transparent plastic in there. Uh, these pieces do shift back. I totally forgot to do this in the uh, in the JTI, but these pieces do shift back. Let's reveal these little bits here. Again, some of that transparent plastic. You got some blacks, some purples, all that good stuff. You got a big old thruster there in the back. You can see storage for his uh his kind of G1 cannon arm there. Some transparent pieces here, some transparent hoses. Oh no. Looks pretty cool. And there is the top. There is the bottom. He slides. As flying, killing things should slide. Hooray for flying, sliding, killing things. And for comparison, uh, here he is with the Siege Shockwave. So you can see how that works out. Here he is with the, uh, the Lemon Tree Shockwave. You can see how that works out. Probably not. That's, there we go. That's maybe a better better way to do it. There you go. And here he is with the original, official, deluxe full of Cybertron Shockwave. So you can see how that works out. So, there you go. Now, as far as accessories go, he does include an effects part. He includes a uh, he includes a bloosh. He has a bloosh. Um, you can see done in a nice transparent purple plastic. It is made up of uh, two pieces. If you want to use them, totally up to you. But you put them together, and you can, if you want, you can plug this right up front, like so. Have a bloosh going on that way, or if you want to, you can come back here, and all these panels do. Open up, so the port right in there, you can plug this in and have a big old thruster bloosh going on there. And you can bloosh, you can totally bloosh in all kinds of blooshing ways. Hooray, hooray for blooshing, for purple blooshing. So, hey, all things you can do if you want to do it. But I do quite like this little gimmick here. It's simple, but effective and I like it. But there you go. And that is basically it for 
one of the alt mode. I mean, it looks pretty good. I mean, it doesn't look like much of anything, but again, Cybertronian is how it looked in the video game pretty much. So, hey, it works. It works for me anyway, but let's get down to a transformation, shall we? <laughs> oh, now I'm dizzy. It's okay. You'll be fine. You'll be fine. All right, so let us begin. So first thing we need to do is come here to this panel and just pop this open like so. You see that pegs in right there. Just flip that over. You want to come down here and untab these panels and bring them out to the side. Then you want to come here and untab his legs from the cannon. Once we have all that done, we can just pop all of this up and untab this from the back and we got the section that we will put off to the side for now what parts for Shh. It's okay. It's okay. so here we have what is left and now we can commence with transforming the body so just bring his foot out bring the heel down you want to just kind of angle this just a little bit so this section here well, just rotate these a bit. There we go. So you just want to unpeg this section here from his hip, and this will swing around. You do have to kind of like flex this out a little bit, which I'm not a fan of flexing things, but you have to flex it just a little bit to clear that. And you're going to swing this around, and this will just tab in right here, like so. And you just take all of this again, make sure this piece is out of the way. Just swing this around like so. This will come around and tab in right there like that. And you can just kind of straighten the knee out if you want to, or if you want him sitting a little shorter, you know, totally up to you what you want to do there with his knees. But there you go. They have a leg all done. Second verse is just like the first. So, heel, bring that down slightly. Unpeg this section here. Okay, just give a little bit of flex. Bring this around. Dab it in. And swing this around. Dab it all in. Again, straight out the leg. As much or as little as you want to, really. And there you got the legs all done. So at this point now, you can just extend his waist. Rotate it 180. And now we can commence with the upper body. So what we're going to do here, we're going to take these panels and just shift them forward right there. Shift them forward right there. Again, this is a step I forgot to do in the JTI. Whoopsies. Okay. So just bring those forward. Now you want to untab the wings. Just pull them out. And again, this involves some kind of flexing of plastic, which again, not a fan of, but... So far, I haven't seen any uh, ill effects of it, but still, not nah, my favorite thing to do is, you know, forcing things around. But once you undo that, you can then untab his forearms from these sections here. Just kind of bring these out. Now you're going to untab his shoulders from the center section. So just pull this out. You can see the tab it goes right up in there. Just bring those arms down. Untab. And just bring those arms down, get them out of the way. This section here with the wings, just rotate it around like so. And you can take this section here and push this up to pop up his head. Like that. It won't pop it up all the way, but it'll pop it up enough. And then you do have to kind of get your finger in here, get your thumb in here, and just kind of push this up the rest of the way. It's quite tight. A little tighter than I would like. Kind of a pain in the butt. Oh, there we go. Ow, that hurt a little bit. That hurt. There we go. There we go. We got his head up all the way. And then you can just tuck that in there. And you can just bring his body down like so. You can then flip this down. That'll tab in. These wings will just collapse in like so. And once you've done that, you can just bring your shoulders up, touch clip in right there, clip in right there. And we are pretty much at the home stretch here. 
Now, you just want to rotate his arm at the bicep. I'm gonna bring this up so you can get in here, open up that panel, then you just flip out the hand. That'll plug in right there. That'll close up. Bring that down. Make sure you leave the uh, shoulder pad up. They have an arm all done. Second bus, just like the fuss. So just rotate up a little bit. Open, flip, peg, close, down. Get everything straightened out here with his feet, with his legs. Just get them all situated so we can stand nice and solid like. That way stays extended. And just get his legs situated here. Just want him standing all nice and solid like. There we go. There we go. And there you go. There you have Shockwave in his robot mode. And he looks good! Very, very good in my opinion. I do quite like him. Looks pretty much just like he did in the video game. I approve. I approve! But let's get in close here so we can take a look at that noggin. You can see a very shock wavy noggin. Um, there is transparent plastic there for the eye. Unfortunately, no light piping. This really would have benefited from some nice light piping to make that glow, but it is what it is. But got some nice detail there in his ears nice detail there in the neckular region yeah, big old chest I like the uh, kind of metallic colors going on there it really pops got some nice detail there in the waist and some more of those metallic colors so you get those nice highlights going on detail there the inner thigh there's a big old feet I like how everything comes together with the legs. Some clever bits of transformation here. And the wings. Looks quite good. Even the back of his head has some nice detailing as well. He has an eye on the back of his head. Ah! No. Anyway. Articulation wise on the head. I believe is on a ball joint. But you don't get too much wiggly waggly. A little bit of wiggly waggly. Head can rotate to a full 360. He can look up a good bit. Look down. A little bit of squirrel, a little bit, just a little bit. Arms can do a full 360. They can move in and out. Shoulder pad, as you can see, can move as well. You also have forward and backward movements on their shoulder. Oh uh, yeah, bicep rotation. You have a little bit over 90 degrees of bend there at the elbow. Uh, you do have wrist rotation. You have the hinge there for transformation, but hey, moves in and out if you needed to. Uh, the hands can open and close. These joints on my copy are way tight. There you go. You can you have a hinge there and a hinge there. But again, it's 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 quite snug, a little too snug, but it moves. Um, so you can see you got side to side movement there on the waist. You have waist rotation. Legs can move forward that far. You can do them high kicks. Oh, look at them high kicks. Move back that far. You can pretty much kick himself in the back of the head if you wanted to. You got thigh rotation, outward movement, that far. Uh, you do have a double jointed knee, you get over 90 degrees of bend there, you get a pretty good knee bend. And as far as the feet go, they can move up, they can move down, you have tiltage and the heel can also tilt a little bit as well. You have these sections here, these can you know wiggle up and down a bit if you want to. And the wings uh, also have some hinges here, so you can kind of splay these out a little bit more. Kind of tuck them in, do what you want. You can also, you know, use these hinges there. Splay these out, have them sitting as far out or as in as you want them to. Totally up to you what you want to do there. And of course we can arm him up and that's where uh, this comes into place. So we'll just put wave over to the side for now and uh, we'll transform this. So what you're going to do here is you want to take these transparent pieces. You want to unpeg them from the sides here. Give them a little wiggle, 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 and just rotate them out. Just give it a little wiggle, 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 wiggle,
take this bottom section here and you want to rotate this around like so so everything sits flush like that you can bring this up and this whole thing is then going to rotate 180 like so you just close all this back up and this is just going to drop down right in here like that and then all this is going to swing around and sit right there like so you can take these transclearing hoses here and just rotate them around you see there's little little grooves for them to sit in bring that around bring it down and there we go we got that all done so what we can do here is we can just unpeg the hand you can see there's a port right in there you want to raise this up you can plug this on either arm it's really up to you what you want to do there and that just plugs in and this will come in and tab into that slot right there on the forearm like so to secure that in place and now he has his big old weapon so we can pew pew bang bang pew pew bang bang but as you can see right under here we also have his traditional g1 cannon hand just unpeg it and we can pop this hand off plug this on and just give him his standard little cannon hand for pew pewing and bang banging and pew pewing and bang banging so you have options there as far as how you want to display him and as always options are good and of course we can give him his bloosh that's right um now the cannon hand is not compatible with this bloosh unfortunately you can't you can't bloosh with that one but we can totally totally bloosh with this one we can just plug that in oops game on tab there and we can get a big old one-eyed shockwave so one-eyed bloosh it sounds wrong but it's accurate it's totally totally accurate but there you have that and now for comparison here he is with siege shockwave here he is with the original fall of cybertron deluxe shockwave and that's definitely an upgrade here he is with the uh, Lemon Tree Shockwave. And with some of the other Planet X boys, um, we're not going to do all of them, we're just going to do some of them, but uh, here he is with one of the Planet X Insecticons. With Ironhide. With Screamer. With Prime. With Megs. And with his best friend, Grimlock. So, there you go. So there you have Kios, and uh, yeah, nicely done figure here. Another nicely done figure here from Planet X. Uh, you know, the alt mode looks good, the robot mode looks good, nice and game accurate. Um, you know, the transformation, it works pretty well. Uh, my only complaint is just the, uh, the kind of flexing of plastic you have to do to get things around that I'm not a fan of, but otherwise, everything works quite well. Um, so yeah, overall, Nice looking figure. I hope they keep doing them because I'm really loving these video game bots they're putting out. I hope they keep doing it. So there you go. Now, if you would like this or any of Planet X's other offerings, you can always check out BigBadToyStore.com for availability. There'll be a link in the description down below so you can check that out. You can also check out my third party Transformers playlist for any reviews you may have missed. Also linked in the description down below so you can check that out as well. And I think that's it. So don't forget to check out M Games. Check out Love Peace Paranormal. Follow me on Twitter. All of that good stuff down in the description below. And I think that's pretty much all there is to say. So there is the Planet X Kiosk. And this is MGO saying, remember, you don't stop playing because you grow old. You grow old because you stop playing. Be geek. Be proud. Home in your face. Hey, wave, wave! What? What is it? I've just hatched a great scheme to end this war for Cybertron.
Yeah, but do you think they'll fall for it? Have any of my evil schemes not gone to plan? You know what? Don't, don't answer that. My point is, this one, this one will work. Yeah, no offense, but I'm, uh, I'm betting against you on this one. Oh, ye of little faith, Wave. Oh, ye of little faith. Yeah, well, give me a good reason to have some faith, and I will. You know, we're never gonna win this war if you don't find a way to trust me. Never gonna trust you.